Hello everyone. I'm going to give my review on the Tesseract. Alright, so of course you can customise it on Las Santos Customs as normal. So same thing with the customizations, pretty much, pretty much very similar. And the difference here though, you actually can have livery, um, the chassis, and the respray. So you can respray the inside. Um, the outside, the secondary, the primary, and you can have the emblem on there as well. So that's pretty cool. You have a little bit extras on the respray side, which is very nice. Um, yes, you can customise it on the Arena Workshop. It's the same as well. Um, pretty much the same as the Los Santos Customs on the settings. It's pretty much the same. So, anything different... Uh, any any difference, sorry, uh, will be the lights, but you can do that with any other vehicle that, that you can pretty much use. Uh, you can change the front lights here, which is pretty cool. I'll put mine to red in the end, but yeah, you can customise it, so that's pretty cool. A nice bonus to customise it. Um, you cannot uh, customise it on the mobile MOC, Mobile Oceans Centre Vehicle, you cannot do that. Same with the Avenger. You cannot customise it. Um, Avengers more picky though. You need weaponised vehicles. But I thought I'd still try it anyway. If anyone questions it. Um, I did a little test here as well. Um, basically with the brakes. I thought I'd give it a quick go. Because I heard the brakes are not really good. So I give it a good go. And as you can see right near the end of the clip. I was about to crash into a car. But luckily I it braked. But as you can see there. Look, it's taken a long time to brake. And that's without the upgrades though. When saying that. Um, yeah, so it's not great, but even with upgrades, I didn't record it, but with, even with the upgrades, the brakes were not great whatsoever, so it's, yeah, don't fully trust them, if it is, try and press it right away, instead, of, think about it twice for braking, if you know what I mean, as you can see there, I tried to brake again, and I lost control, it's just, it's not great, but acceleration is pretty good, alright, so that's the quick little bits, and I'd like to give my pros and cons to the reviews that I do on GTA 5, so, yet again, uh, I'd like to say, like I say with any other review videos, um, this is my opinion. If there's anything you, I, you know, you disagree on or anything I've forgotten, let me know in the comments below. It would be greatly appreciated. But yet again, this is my opinions. Alright, so I've got up a list. Yet again, there might be some I miss, but this is what I've got. So we're going to start with the pros. The pros is top speed. As you can see, even from the background there, the gameplay background. Um... Yeah, the top speed is pretty good. Um, it doesn't take too long either to get to those top speeds. So that's, you know, that's pretty good if you're racing. It, it, at least got that then for supercar. That's good. Um, second one, extra respray options. I put it as a pro anyway because, you know, you, you can put the colour you want inside the vehicle and you can have the emblem. So I'm, I'm going to count it as a pro. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It's more a little bit more better than average on the customizations wise Oh, and chassis as well, I guess got the chassis but that's just very certain vehicles but resprays yeah and then the third one is good acceleration as you can see um from the gameplays and that acceleration is pretty good it doesn't take long to hit the top speed as well it's actually pretty decent um it's not the fastest in, in acceleration but it's, it's it's decent um i see it's a little bit better than uh, average though i'd say so i gave that's a pro and that's the pros so yeah, again, this is my opinion. If there's anything you disagree on or I've forgotten, you know, all that stuff, let me know in the comments below. It'd be greatly appreciated. All right, so now the cons. The cons is expensive. Of course, it's like $2.8 million, so that is expensive. Um, if you compare it to other supercars, you can get one better for the buck, really. Um, so, yeah, it's expensive, not great. The second one, lose the control on top speeds, as you can see, uh, not long ago, like one or two minutes ago. Like, I tried to brake and lost control, and even that's when I was braking at the same time. But if you're going at top speed and trying to turn, it'll lose control. Or you just can't turn very well, it's just not great. You have no control whatsoever at top speeds. Um, yeah, not not good. Uh, third one, uh, can customise in certain locations. As you can see, it's like only in Los Santos Customs or Arena Workshop, at least what I know of. Um, that's the only two locations where you can customise it, so, yeah, not great, it's not any way you can customise it at all, really, um, yeah, oh, if you count the Maze Bank one, then, the Maze Bank garage, but that, I think that can do, well, not all vehicles, but a lot of them, but 
I don't count that. It's not a very popular garage people go into. But, yeah. And then the last one, bad brakes. Without the upgrade to be Pacific, though. The, the brakes were without the upgrade, though. Um, terrible. Absolutely terrible. Especially when you go top speeds, though. Then you just... Phew, you just have to press the button right away yet again to brake. If not, you, you're going to crash. You need to do it instantly. Don't think twice because it's not quick enough uh, to think twice with the, those brakes. Um, but even with the upgrade, it's still not great. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's still terrible. Um, you know, so don't trust that whatsoever. And, yeah, I think that's it. So, oh, and the final question is then, is the Tesseract worth it in 2021? No, I don't think so. Uh, in 2021, um, if you've got loads of money, I guess, maybe, um, I'll say maybe then, if you've got loads of extra money with you and you don't, you've don't, you got the most important things you need to get, then maybe, I guess, but that's a maybe still. That's when you've got the most important stuff and you're buying a luxury, like 2.8 million. It's, it's not worth that, to be honest. It's not worth it. Like, don't get me wrong, it looks good, but... I don't know, I'm the kind of guy I'd rather get what you get in the vehicle usually than for the looks, usually. Um, but yeah, I'm not a car collector in this game myself, so you know, this this could be a whole different opinion. But I'm going to go with no, for my opinion. Um, yeah, it's, don't get me wrong, it's good, but you compare it to the price, it's just not worth it. But that's it, so if this video helped though, uh, make sure to give this video a like. If you're new here, maybe subscribe. If not, check out the playlist and hopefully I will see you all in the next live stream or video. Goodbye, everyone.